Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. I hope everyone's doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own heart, with your own intuition throughout the reading. And this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may like to think of a question that you would like to receive guidance on or an answer to by the end of the reading. The answer will be revealed or the guidance will be revealed in the cards. Let's take a look at your first message. And it's the guardian angel of youth. So you may have a youth in your life that is especially important at the moment. As I share my enthusiasm, humor and sense of fun, I protect and honor my youthful spirit. So, you know, this may also be saying that you're feeling more enthusiastic, more youthful in some respect in your life at the moment, which is a really great thing. You might also need to protect your innocence, your perception, your beliefs, ideas, morals, values in some way as well. I do get that for someone that might be under attack in some way at the moment. And the Angel Prince of the South. I let go of all pain and tension as I float in the sea of divine love. So we have the direction of south. Now this can mean that something is going south. A relationship, work, something's going south. Which means it's on the decrease. Or it's going worse than before. And you will know if that is happening in your life. It's already in your life, if that is the case, you already know what spirit is talking about here. Something that is causing pain, tension, discomfort, disharmony. It's about rising above this and spirit saying with this card, you will rise above it. You will be able to float in the sea of divine love. So you will rise above, most definitely. Also, this might be uh, the physical direction south. You could be traveling south. So let go of pain, tension, discomfort, emotionally, mentally. Mm, accept a situation and then rise above it is the message I'm receiving. There's an acceptance rather than a fighting and then it's a rising above. Maybe forgiveness is needed. This is a very powerful thing to do, but it's also a very challenging thing to do. I choose to forgive all those who have hurt me in the past. Okay, this is a big energy and this affirmation, if this resonates for you, this is going to be a very powerful affirmation for you to use this week and in the weeks to come. The angel of mercy, divine mercy gives me the grace to be tender and accepting. Just like I was feeling, there's an acceptance that needs to happen. So that your heart can hold more grace from God. Forgiveness will also allow your heart to expand and to accept the blessings and the good things, the prosperity, the abundance that you deserve. And let's take a look at this uh, deck for you. Guidance for Leo, please, Spirit. Daydream, imagination, allow your mind to wander and quiet time. So daydreaming, um, this is about, yes, it's about imagination. It can also mean that, I, that your mind um, actually needs to be rested. So you might be very analytical, thinking very strategically about something or something maybe on your mind and worrying you. And so it's about letting go mentally, allowing your mind to wander and to drift and giving yourself time, quiet time just for you. This is where inspirations will come through. This is where you will feel the heart. This is where you will feel your intuition. So gardening is about manifesting, planting and then reaping what you have sown. So there's a karmic element here. 
And there's a manifesting energy. So if you're wanting to create something for your future down the track a little bit, you can plant the seeds now. It's fertile soil at the moment. So put those things into action. Visualize them. Start to take action. And then you will reap the benefits for sure. The fire opal, sensuality and confidence. Have confidence moving into the week. You're going to be very perceptive. Sensuality, I'm seeing this for you this week. Leo as being very receptive and very aware of your surroundings of energy, like um, very empathic energy. You're able to pick up the subtleties in communication, the subtleties that are around you energetically. Have confidence. There's no need to have a lack of confidence at all, even if you've got something that you're worried about. Have confidence. Spirit's got you. We have a past life energy here. You've got a gift. You've got a gift um, from God, connected perhaps to past life or something that has happened in this life earlier on. So there might be a you know, a gift that you started to discover when you were younger. And then that was pushed to the side for whatever reason. And now it's coming back into your life. It's something that you're going to discover. Or something that is flourishing in your life at the moment. I do see that for someone. We have a review of your past as well. A reflection, a review. Someone from your past may be contacting you. Guidance for Leo, please, Spirit. Crown Games. Okay, so this is a power play. There's a power play going on. Right to use of power. If you are in power in some way in your life, might be career, might be in your home, relationships. Make sure that you're using this power for good. Make sure that you are putting in the right energy. But there's definitely a power play going on by the looks of things or a power struggle. Um, and because of this power struggle and dynamic, it's creating an obstacle. There's a challenge here. Now, whatever this challenge is for you, you know exactly what spirit is talking about for you. There's going to be an unexpected turnaround. There is going to be a miracle that lands in your lap in regard to this power dynamic. It's going to be going in your favor in some way. Or are you overcoming the obstacle here in relation to this power dynamic power play? There might be a reconciliation. Maybe that ties into the energy of the past for you. Reconciliation. And the heart home, which means compassion. So there might be an energy around your home environment that's important, something going on there significantly. And the heart energy is about your emotions, about your feelings for someone or something. It's going to come to the forefront. You won't be able to ignore it. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit. So we have the energy of support. Ask for help if you need it. Get more rest and nurture yourself as much as you can over the next week or so. Self-care is important. There is a partnership of importance. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with and build up a talented support team. It's interesting because you have support. So there might be a support team um, or several people that are around you for support in some way. Leadership, step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. So, you know, leadership, a power play, maybe there's, yeah, it's speaking of that dynamic going on there. There's a celebration because you will overcome the obstacles. A positive outcome is assured for, for whatever it is that you're worried about, whether it is a power play dynamic or something else. So celebrate your success and enjoy your achievement. Something is going to work out really well for you. Something you've been putting effort and determination and um, 
time into by the looks of it. Okay, let's take a look at this deck. So we have the Six of Earth, which is about charity. So there might be something going on there, volunteering your time perhaps, or charity in some respect. There's generosity, and there's also a windfall coming your way, especially of material abundance. The three of Water, so we have a team, we have partnerships, we have a social gathering or networking, seeing eye to eye with people. Definitely a celebration, which has come up previously in the read with this card. Celebrate your successes. There's a community here and there's friendships. The wheel is about luck, progress, as well as change. The wheel it means that luck is turning in your favor, progress is being made. And the sun, again, we have the message of success. There's also going to be recognition for your efforts and or you're going to be recognized in some way. And there's enthusiasm you're going to have. Um, I feel it's connected into this change is going to be a very positive change that takes place with this will turning this progress the five of fire there's conflicts annoyances and competition to look out for you know what they are definitely this power play dynamic is on the cards here there is going to be an opportunity an opportunity for creativity and for you to take positive action in some way especially in regard to any conflicts or annoyances Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. Check in with your heart, with your intuition, and see if this answer resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.